Hey everybody and welcome back to the Farmhouse Witch YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to give you guys an in-depth witchy room tour and an altar tour as well. If you used to watch my channel, I had a couple of these on my channel and my channel really got popular two or three years ago because of my room tours. Of course, I have removed my face from my channel. I have a regular nine to five job and it just was no longer right for me to put my face out there. So I have decided to take that off of YouTube and because of that, all of my videos have been deleted. I am also a military spouse, so I've moved twice within the last past year, which most of you guys know. Anyways, we have settled in Florida again, and I really love it here. I've made this place my own, as I'm sure that you can tell, and I wanted to share with you guys. A couple of disclaimers though before we get into the actual video. I've tried to film this like three times, and I'm having trouble with the quality of my camera. Somehow during the move, the settings of my camera got messed up and I'm trying to fix them and fix the quality of the video so that they're higher quality. If it's still not great quality, you're gonna have to forgive me. Also, my windows are open and I have cats in my room, so if you hear little noises, that's probably why. And then lastly, before we get into the tour, I do have some things that are very personal I'm not gonna be showing, so I have taken them out of the room, some things I'm not going to go over, I will do my best to show you as much as I can, but on a spiritual level, some things are just really private and obviously I'm not going to be showing those. Before we get into the actual video, I want to do a quick spin around of my room. That way you guys can see everything before we start. It is really bright in here because I have the windows open, so I will fix that. When we do my big altar tour over here, I'm going to close the windows so we can see better. But that was a spin around of my room. We're going to start in this little corner over here by my door. There's not too much to go over. These are just awards and different diplomas and degrees. Obviously they're covered up because my name is on them. Right next to that I have a mineralogy poster which is from Amazon. I think it was 10 or 11 bucks. It's super cheap. During this video, I'm going to try to tell you guys where I got things from and maybe how much they were, but honestly, I have been witching for over 12 years, so a lot of it is handed down, a lot of it's thrifted, and a lot of stuff I just don't remember where I got it from. Another cool thing about this little corner is a wallflower. I got this from Bath & Body two years ago or three years ago from their Halloween collection. It's a little crystal wall and she stays lit all year in my room. I have a dream catcher over my door as well as some selenite. The dream catcher is a gift from my husband. And then I have my hand painted brush stroke wall. This is all free handed. This was controversial in my last house. I had the same type of print that I did myself. People either loved it or hated it. I love it because my style is really out there. If you can't tell already by this video, but it's kind of eclectic bohemian. I love different styles, prints, textures. I'm kind of all over the place. So the paint color itself in the background, the dark green, is Rainforest Green by Bear. And then I went in with some metallic paint, which I don't remember the name of, but it's just a metallic gold and I freehanded all of those brush strokes along the wall. Having the window open does this wall way better justice because the metallic gold is really, really bright. Under this wall though, I have a Chase Lounge. I got this on Facebook Marketplace. It was a girl who bought it brand new. She moved it in her house and she just didn't like the way that it looked. And of course my cat is gonna get up there as I'm showing it to you. He wants to show it off. So it's a cheetah print Chase Lounge. Cheetah is one of my favorite colors. I like to say I love cheetah print. The pillow that's on top of this is from Walmart's Halloween collection last year. There's also black trim all the way around this Chase Lounge, and I am about 5'6". It doesn't look like it on video, but this is actually pretty big, big enough for me to lay down. This was also 40 bucks cash, and honestly, one of the highlights of this room for me, I wanted a cheetah print Chase Lounge really bad and they're very very expensive so that was the find of a lifetime below that we have a bohemian style rug from home depot i got this about three years ago next to the chaise lounge we have a table i got from goodwill it just has a black glass top and then the bottom is gold i don't know why my cat wants to be in this video he never ever comes to the camera when i'm filming but everywhere i point the camera today he just wants to be so on top of it i have a crystal ball and no i do not actually use this in my practice 
This is just a decoration I got from Spirit Halloween. It has a little moon holder. And then the container that it's actually encased in is from Target. Right next to that, I have a wax warmer from Walmart. It was from their Halloween collection last year. I have a black cat wine bottle from World Market and I have some fake feathers sticking out from Michael's. Right above this end table, we have most of my crystals and my witchy room. I have a lot more crystals than this spread out through my house, so I will tell you, I'm not gonna do an in-depth tour right now. If you would like to see that, comment below, and I will probably end up doing that on this channel. But for time's sake and to keep this video less than like two hours, we're just gonna glance over them. On this first shelf, we have some different cutouts. I have a hand globe. That globe is from Target's Halloween collection last year. Inside, I have some different little pieces. The wood shelf that all of these are setting on, by the way, came from Amazon in a pack of three. The acrylic shelves that are plastic and clear above these also came in a pack, but they come in a pack on Amazon of like six, so I have a lot of those. On this shelf, we have some more random crystals. I have a little goddess next to those. I also have a shelf from Five Below with some of my crystals. And then above that, I have another acrylic shelf. Next to that, I have another acrylic shelf with some different crystals and a maple leaf and another acrylic shelf. Below that, I have a pinnacle from Amazon and the camera doesn't do it justice, but this is huge. This was like nine bucks. You could use it on your altar. I have mine hanging, obviously. Next to that, I have a car air freshener that is no longer scented, but I love cheetah prints, so I figured I would hang it up. Moving along the wall, we have another acrylic shelf with some different random crystals. Below that, we have a picture hanger from Target, and this one has a bunch of different random stuff on it that represents me. I have my gay pride flag and bi pride flag, a bunch of different oracle cards, pictures that are covered up, artwork, and a bunch of random goodies. Next to that, we have the last acrylic shelf on this wall with a bunch of different random crystals. Then we have another one of my wood shelves. I'm trying to capture the flash on this labradorite to the best of my ability, but that piece is super flashy. And then I have this random antique shoe thing. It's supposed to help you put your shoes on. I think it looks like a vintage Harry Potter wand, so I leave it out. So that was everything on that wall. And now I'm gonna go ahead and go over this bookshelf. I do have two different ones. So I have this one and that one over there. These were a part of a bigger set and my husband didn't want the set anymore, but I decided to keep these for my books. I do have them separated, so over here is all of my witchy slash spiritual books. I'm not gonna do an in-depth tour of those. If you wanna see that, again, comment below. Maybe I can do a book tour for you guys. And then over there on the other bookshelf, I just have regular reading material. I wanted to talk for a quick second. I'm not gonna go over everything in my Hecate altar. This is a Hecate altar. On the other bookshelf, I have my Freya altar. I've been working with them for a long time, but they keep both of their altars on top of the bookshelves. I did want to share a quick find though. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a little light back in there. And I got those off of Amazon in a pack of two. They're just lights that you can stick up into shelves and it comes with a little remote. This is what that little remote looks like, but basically you can change the colors on those lights to anything. Um, you can set them on timers, you can set them on different patterns, but if you have a deity altar, I think it just kind of takes it to the next level and it's super cheap, but I love the way it looks and I figured somebody would enjoy that find. So Amazon, go to LED lights and you can probably find some cheaper, but like I said, I got a pack of two for about 12 bucks. Above her altar, I have two glass decanters from Goodwill. They're nothing special. It's not like they were handed down to me. I just think that they're beautiful. We're gonna move on because like I said, I'm not gonna go over her altar. I will tell you, I have a lot of similar things on both altars. Um, for example, I made them each a bouquet that's representative of them and how I work with them. I also have oils and different offering bowls on their altar. And then of course, crystals. 
but we're gonna go ahead and go over this wall. Now, since I do have a regular nine to five job, I needed a desk where I could work and not a big desk because I don't have like an actual desktop, I have a laptop, but still I needed somewhere I could get work done. So I ended up getting this for 20 bucks from an older lady and she told me when I got there that she had this one she wanted to get rid of. So she threw that vintage roll top desk in for free and we'll get into that one later, but this one is what I use for my actual work. I have a leather chair from Wayfair. On top of it, I have a lamp from Walmart. I have a box from TJ Maxx, and you can open that and store stuff in it. And then I have a pair of rooster wings. Most of you know the story, but I made those myself. It's a talisman. One of my favorite roosters died, and it was unexpected. Long story short, I have some different items in my room that represent him and that are made from him. If you're grossed out by feathers or like chicken feet, you might not want to watch the rest of this video or skip past some parts because I do have other parts of him in this room as well. I have a vintage candle holder on the desk as well from Goodwill and then a clear quartz crystal. I will tell you, I'm not going to go over all my crystals, but most of them, if not like 90% of my collection, is from Oak River Crystals on Instagram. Also, some of you might recognize the setup of the two brooms and all of the different shelving and mirror. That used to hang over my main working altar, but obviously I have put it over my desk. On either side, I have two cinnamon brooms or besoms, and one of my viewers commented on one of my room tours and it's been forever now but she said that she has kind of the same thing but she faces them up to keep the prosperity coming in the way that i think about mine is i face them down and for me it's like representative of sweeping away negative energy or keeping it out so just a matter of preference i'm not going to go through all my herbs the wood shelves that you're going to see are from five below of course i have some basic stuff spanish moss salt down below, I have eggshells. Again, these clear acrylic shelves, they came in a pack off of Amazon. The Mira itself is from Goodwill. Above the Mira, I have some different dried herbs. I have two bouquets that were gifted to me that I dried myself. I have some lavender and then rosemary, garden sage, and a bunch of different things. I don't know, it's all kind of random. It's hanging on a shelf from Goodwill. I got that for like four bucks years ago. And then I have some rose petals and different jars above. If you're wondering, that snake jar actually came from Target's Halloween collection last year. Next to that, I have another shelf from Five Below, another one of my clear acrylic shelves, and then of course, a cinnamon broom. Next to that, I have a table that looks wonky on camera, and it's kind of wonky in real life too, but this table is very old. I'm not sure what type of stone this is, but it is a real green stone, and it looks like granite to me, like a green granite. This was my grandpa and grandma's though, and my parents had it. They gave it to me over the summer, but this has been in my family for over 50 years, so it's kind of wonky and crooked. I will tell you, this is a prosperity altar. I'm in the process of doing something different though. Instead of the money bowl, I think I'm gonna go for a crystal grid or something different. I've worked with Freya the longest out of her and Hecate, and I don't work with any gods, I just work with those two goddesses. Above her altar, I have a teapot collection. Now these were all handed down to me except the two on the end. So the small silver one on the end and the one that looks like an oven. Those were both from Goodwill. Everything else on that shelf is from my grandparents. If you can't tell, my grandparents were very, very special to me and I was close to them. They have since both passed away, so having their stuff in my room means a lot. Speaking of that, next to her altar, I have another deity statue of her hanging on the wall. That's from a local witchy shop. Above that, I have a prosperity altar. Now, I usually have some other things on there, but I've taken them off for this video. My husband put this together for me, and it's made from wood that my grandparents had. So, it was a shelf that my grandparents had. It was falling apart, and I wanted an altar made out of it. So, he put this together. Now, under that, I have velvet curtains. Let's see if I can get them in a better angle. I have blue velvet curtains. These are blackout curtains, so... They don't let in any sunlight, and those are from Amazon. I also have a miniature floral wreath from Michaels, 
and then I have some mala beads. Now, I've gotten these from a bunch of different places. Some of them have been gifts or made for me. Another highlight of this room for me is this Korean style trunk. This is solid mahogany. I picked this up at a flea market for like a hundred bucks. I gotta tell you, I was on the fence about it because I didn't really want to spend that much, but I also knew it could make a beautiful altar. To long story short, when I was in there, I ended up taking a Google image picture and Googling the value of it, and people are selling these for upwards of $2,000. Yes, my cat's gonna get in the window. We're just gonna ignore him, but yeah, they're really expensive. I'm not really sure why besides the fact that it's mahogany and it's vintage. It has a bunch of different writing on it. I'm not going to pretend to know what all the symbols mean. All of the symbols in the writing are in brass. The bottom drawer has two different moths and then there is also a symbol in the middle. And then when you open it, there is even more gold brass accents. The doors have the accents as well as the actual drawers themselves. I'm not going to pull out everything that's in here. I really just use this for witchy storage, so I have different herbs, uh, nails, anything that you might need to craft a spell I usually keep in here. Below I have charcoal and other things as well. Again, I really just keep spell ingredients down here. I have my whole tarot card collection. Well, I shouldn't say whole because I have some on my main altar. But most of them are in here. Again, I'm not going to pull them out and do a tour. If you would like to see my tarot collection, put it down in the comments and I will see if I can do a video of that soon. Now above this, we have one of my books of shadows. This is from Charming Bear Gifts. I love them. The quality of their work is amazing. I found them through Ember Honey Raven's channel because she used to do hauls with them. And if you don't know who that is, First off, have you been living under a rock? Second off, she's one of my favorite witchy YouTubers and I've watched her for years, she's just awesome. But she hauled one of these and I decided to find them on Facebook because they do have a Facebook that's how you order from them. It's Charming Bear Gifts and they have a bunch of different options for sizes but the quality of their work is just amazing. Below that we have two different things. The spoon I have hauled on my channel. It was in one of my boxes for Witch's Moon. I don't use this for cooking. This was supposed to be for kitchen witchery. I use this to spoon herbs for spells. And then I have one of my wands with a clear quartz point. I don't remember where I got that. Or no, I think I got it off Etsy and it was a girl who handmade it, but I don't remember her shop's name. Next to that, I have two mortar and pestles. I also have a cauldron shaped oil burner. I don't have anything going in there, but it's just a tea light burner. My husband actually bought that for me for a birthday gift this year. Next to this altar, I do have my main altar. So we can tour that. I'm going to go ahead and close the other window. That way it's not too bright. All right. So here is what the main altar looks like. I'm going to go quickly through what's above the altar. That way we can get it out of the way. I have a gold leaf painting. That is from Michael's. I have a cat wearing a flower crown, that's from TJ Maxx. I have a portrait of my snake that somebody drew and sent to me years ago. I also have a jack-o'-lantern hanging, that's from Michael's, and then a picture that my grandma painted when she was alive. Dead center in my altar, I have some witch's bells with a pinnacle, and I don't know if you can see, but the beads are glass and they're blue and green. Below that I have some rooster's feet, again I made these from the rooster that passed away. So I went ahead and painted them. I put an evil eye on this one. I put some rabbit fur on it. The feathers that are sticking out are all part of his tail feathers though. And then on this one, can't really tell, but there is a large smoky quartz. Below that, we also have a pinnacle. The pinnacle is from Amazon. Below the pinnacle, we have an evil eye and I got that from World Market. We also have his other foot. So this one has and you're not going to be able to see it because it's so small, but it has a silver pinnacle with a garnet in the middle. And then this one has a clear quartz as well as rabbit fur and some of his tail feathers. As a centerpiece of my altar, I have always had my clear quartz generators. So the biggest one that you're looking at, he is a 15 inch piece. He is huge. And the rest of those are pretty big too. Here's my hand in comparison. So we have some big guys. 
In the middle, I have a goddess representation, or for me, it's a goddess representation. It is an amethyst carved Mary. No, I do not work with Mary, but to me, her archetype represents certain aspects of the goddess. In front of that, we have some more pieces of clear quartz and one of them is setting on a larvakite plate. I have a brass incense burner and another goddess statue, as well as one of my salt lamps. Below that, I have a tobacco box just to give it some elevation. I have my large cauldron, and right now there is a Bath & Body Works candle burning inside. I also have one of my smaller cauldrons. I was burning amber in there earlier, so that's why it has sand and a charcoal disc inside. If we keep moving along this way on my altar, I have a cake plate that was my grandparents, and on top of that I have a brass pinnacle bell, and I have a teapot. This is a new find, so it's really, really dark on camera. It's not that dark in real life. But it's a teapot, it is cast iron, it's obviously mini, and on the bottom it's engraved and it was made in 1941. Next to that, I have a salt lamp tea light holder. I do want to show you something that I made, again, from that rooster. Most of these are his tail feathers and, again, rabbit fur, so I made this one. And then all of the other fans that are in here are chicken feathers. Um, and some of them are pheasant and peacock. Under all of that, we have a selenite charging plate, and then I also have a brass cauldron. Now, this cauldron was from Goodwill, and I obviously use it just to burn stick incense. Next to that, I have a card holder. This is from Seize the Clay Studios, and it's shaped like a moon with some stars. Here is what everything looks like with the curtains pulled back. This is why I didn't do the tour like that, because it would just be way too hard to see everything but we can also see what's underneath better. So, right underneath that, I have a box. This was from Ross years ago, and I will show you inside if I can pull it out. In this box, I keep different things for candle magic. So I keep all of my candles, parchment paper, candle holders, glitter, um, things to inscribe the candle, just a bunch of different random goodies. And this was super cheap back when I got it from Ross. I think it was like nine bucks and one of the latches is broken, but I still use it. Next to the candle box, I have a brass cat sculpture from Goodwill. I also have two different fairy girls. These are from My Little Butterfly Life on Instagram. Definitely reach out to her if you like this type of polymer clay art. She does make customs and she's absolutely talented and very, very kind. Next to our little fairies, I have some cremic mushrooms and I picked those up from a medieval fair about a year ago. I have a giant red mushroom. I have a random glass with a bunch of different rocks inside of it. I have some tobacco boxes. The tobacco box that you're staring at right now, I have two tarot card decks in that I mostly work with. That is from my grandparents, so it's very special to me and obviously tobacco is very protective and grounding, at least it is to me. And then I have a pinnacle box. This is from a local witchy store. I forgot to mention that the altar itself was for free. I found it on the curb because somebody was putting it out and I think it was originally like a TV box that you're supposed to put a TV on. Um, I repainted it and sanded it and I made it an altar and that was a couple of years ago as well. Inside the bottom drawer, I have some random storage, camera supplies, witchy supplies, lighters, different things. Fun fact, that little green and pink cloth that you're staring at is from the Dollar Tree. And 12 years ago, that was one of my very first altar cloths when I was living with my parents. So it's very sentimental. Anyways, we're gonna get into my ancestor altar now. It is right next to my main altar. Before we make our way up there though, I wanna show you what's down below and some of the storage. Obviously I have a printer because I do have a regular nine to five job and I use it. I could not stand the way that it looked on my desk though, so I have it hidden where you can't see it. I have a stool from Five Below, and then I have a napkin holder, or at least I think that's what it's supposed to be from Goodwill, and inside that I have my incense collection. As far as storage goes over here, in this first drawer, if I can open it, I have two random jars, and then I also have cone incense in my amber collection. I also have a random wallflower from Bath & Body, and this one up here I have a giant thing of Florida water and some different witchy sprays. And then in these tobacco boxes, I have all of my different oils. So I have this one that's full, 
and I have another one that's full back there as well. In the top drawer, I have replacement bulbs for my salt lamps. Nothing too exciting, and I have some different pictures of my grandparents. They need to be hung up, which I will do eventually. I have another book of shadows from Charming Bear Gifts. This one is the same snake and eye print as my pink one. It's just a different color. This one is in brown. This is from my snake and I laminated this and put rose petals in it. That way I can use it as a bookmark. I'm not gonna get into what that is because that's something special that goes on this altar. Here's what she looks like from a distance. On top of the altar itself, I have some different storage cubes that have random crystals. The light is not doing these justice today. I have some ashes from one of my familiar spirits, which was a cat I had for like 18 years. He's over here. I have a glass bell. Growing up, that was always in my grandparents' china cabinet, and I inherited that when they passed. I also have one of their jewelry boxes and black tourmaline inside. I have a butterfly resin sculpture, and then a bunch of different graveyard dirts. On top of the altar itself, I have a couple of different things. One of my favorite things though, I don't know if you can see, this is a tea light burner. It's very vintage and I picked that up off of eBay. I have some different crystal spears, a bear carving, I have some candle holders, a quartz on top of a stand, two jewelry boxes from my grandparents, and actually the smaller one is from my great grandma. I also have a vase from my grandparents, and inside I have another spear. I have a sunflower that my grandma hand painted, and a Prince Albert can from my grandpa. I have some more spears and crystals. I have a can, or a jar I should say, of bitters, and that's been in my family for a while. Below that I have some more crystal that used to go in a china cabinet, I just use it to burn incense. I have a picture of my grandparents when they were younger. Above this altar, I also have a picture of my grandparents later in life. I have a selenite snake, which is one of the highlights of this area. Some more crystal balls. Again, I'm not gonna get into what everything is because it's gonna take us way too long. I have a scorpion and resin. I have a perfume bottle that was my grandma's, and then I have a candle holder, or two candle holders, I should say, from Goodwill. And here is one last good look at that altar. Right next to that, I also have a hand-carved cane. It is huge because it was my great-grandpa's and he was really, really tall. But yeah, that is made by hand out of wood. Before we get into the closet, I'm just going to tour what's on the wall because this is the last bit of decorative stuff that we have. On top, I have the final shelf that was in the set from the Amazon ones I told you about. I have two Day of the Dead cats. I have a blue butterfly. I also have a postcard from Mystic Grill aka Covington, Georgia, aka Mystic Falls, Virginia. If you watch Vampire Diaries, it was filmed there. One of my favorite places to go and visit when I go to Georgia. I also have a fortune teller palmistry sign from Michaels. This has been like five years since I've had it, so it was one of their earlier collections. I have some witchy artwork in a copper frame. And then I also have a green man plaque that I have hauled on my channel. Inside my closet, I don't have anything too interesting, just crafty stuff. I do have a long closet, so it goes further back. I have scrapbooking stuff, I have painting stuff. All of these drawers are filled with different mediums, if you could imagine. So I also have extra witchy stuff like funnels in case I need them. I don't really have anything too exciting in here, like I said pride flag and sort of joke here about my pride flag being in the closet bunch of random stuff up here anyways that is it for the closet and that is it for my witchy room tour that's all i had to share with you guys today though i hope that everybody that watches this has a great day if nobody's told you i love you i see you i care about you and i will see you guys in the next video have a good day bye